What is going on guys? So today we have a new device from Lilygo. This is the T Laura Pager. Uh, it's a new device part of the Lilygo family. Um, it has basically, it's like the size of like an old style pager um, by Blackberry. Um, I can't remember the exact name, but I remember seeing them and the design is very familiar. So um, this particular device has a full uh, keyboard. Uh, it does support AI. Um, it has a AI support IMU. Okay. Uh, the screen size is a 2.3 inch screen. It's a 222 by 480. Uh, it has a U-Blox GPS module. Uh, it's MIA M10Q. It has RFID and NFC plus a real time clock. Uh, TI powered management uh, monitoring chipset. It has a microphone, a speaker, and a headphone jack and an encoder and keypad. Okay, so the MCU on this, so the chip that it's supporting it is an ESP32-S3. So we have 16 megabytes of flash and eight megabytes of PS RAM. All right, uh, so the size is 106 by 89 by 23. So for those of you guys who uh, are curious as to the size and what we can compare it to, I don't really know. This is the iPhone 15. Uh, case right and that is the device itself it's I don't know if I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's a little chunky but it is pretty cool all right so uh, let's go ahead um, we've got yes we've got the ESP32 uh, s3 we have the LCD we have a GNSS antenna uh, we have LoRa we have NFC uh, smart sensor and plus RT, uh, RTC, so for the real time clock. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this on so we can kind of see what the firmware looks like. I don't know, there's a bunch of buttons and I have no idea which buttons do what. So we shall do this together. Unless the device had died. It looks like it did. So let's go ahead and charge that up. All right, so we powered her up. I'm not sure if it was dead or what the case may be, but here is, oh, yep, yeah, 1% there. All right, so let's pull out the antennas. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the demo software that's on here right now. So we have the NRF24. Uh, there's no module on this right now, as you can see. Uh, we have the screen. We have the screen test, there we go. And that'll just cycle through a bunch of different colors, okay, to test the screen. I'll fast forward through this because I regret doing that now. <laughs> All right, actually, I don't need to fast forward. All right, so we're at test, we're at settings, okay, so we have display and backlight which is your typical settings. Uh, this does have a backlit keyboard. All right, so if, uh, let's see if it'll pull it up on camera. Let's go here. The uh, dial is, uh, is a button as well. So the scroll wheel is a button. I will put it all the way back down. Display timeout, okay. System information, that's, uh, all the stuff not connected to anything don't have an SD card in there all of the Arduino and LVGL versions device status so everything seems to be good I don't have an SD card so I expect that to not pass and I don't have an NRF 24 so that's not gonna pass either but everything else checks out okay Let's go ahead and go to the next one. And then charger. So we have OTG enabled, we have uh, uh, charger enabled, and the current, uh, the charger current right now. All right, let's go back. We have Wi Fi, not sure. Okay, so yeah, it's just your basic uh, logging in. We have Bluetooth keyboard, All right? So that's this, uh, that's the percentage. So I'm not 100% what that is. Mode, BLE, keyboard mode. 
So I'm guessing it goes into a Bluetooth state so we can discover it and use it as a Bluetooth keyboard, which is actually pretty cool. Music, we don't have any files on there, so we can't play any music, but we can definitely do that. Radio, we have different radio settings here. Okay, I don't know if we, we change that. Oh, we can. Radio disabled. Okay. Um, we have mode, frequency, bandwidth, uh, transmit power, transmit interval, coding rate, spreading factor, sync word, and then you can save it. So I'm just going to go back without saving. Laurel chat. So we're going to choose our frequent or our band that we use for Laura. In my case, it's 868. We'll select that. And then you can go down to the little chat and then And then you can do that. But since I'm not connected to any nodes or anything, and since this is just a demo, I don't believe it's going to actually send anything. But when you type and also you do the scroll wheel, there's haptic feedback. So you'll feel like a little vibration every time you move the wheel, which is really nice. Um, the keyboard buttons are very stiff, very, very stiff. Um, so that's why you saw like the double press, you know, with no intention of double pressing. But uh, yeah, the keyboard is very, very stiff. The buttons are rubber, but which is nice, but it, it's just you have to give it some real effort to push each key, which is OK. But to be honest, I really wish they would have used the, um, the keyboards that they've upgraded on the T-Deck because that keyboard seems to be a lot better. The buttons feel a lot nicer, things like that. Uh, we have monitor, which will just basically monitor the, the system, power, temperature, things like that. All right, basic stuff. Uh, I skipped GPS, so let's do that. We've got the MIQ, M10, or the MIA, M10Q, your, lat, your longitude, date, speed, all that stuff. All right. Your power, a microphone. And then an MIU, which allows us to do kind of like your gyroscope stuff, right? So that is pretty much it for this device. We'll go over it um, now as far as the device. So I'll do like a little uh, uh, tour around the device. Okay, so we'll unplug that. It'll probably die on us, but that's okay. So we have a little leather, I guess I'm going to say a little logo, Lilio logo here. Uh, just a little strap that can't really do. I think it's more aesthetic than anything. Um, we have the rubberized QWERTY keyboard, right? Um, at the bottom, we have a USB-C, the SD card slot, and we have three buttons. Uh, I believe the center button is your, your awake and sleep button. The left button here is the reset button. I'm not 100% sure what this one is, okay? But, uh, but yeah, it's there. Um, we have... The GPIO port here at the bottom or at the top with your headphone jack here as well. All right. On, on the back, we have the quarter 20 um, slot here. Two antennas. One is going to be for um, Wi Fi, the other one is going to be for um, your uh, LoRa. Okay. We have some other screw, uh, heat set screw inserts here. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what those will be for. Um, they almost look like the same size as like the M5 devices, so maybe we might see uh, an accessory that will go along with this that maybe might plug into the top and can mount in the back somehow. Maybe, who knows. Uh, we have Laura Pager, which I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that the NFC and stuff is going to be here on the back as well. Uh, I don't see it on any of the, the, uh, any of the documentation that I'm looking at right now, but uh, I would imagine it would be back here, so... Uh, and then this one here is actually the Laurel antenna, uh, 2.4 gigahertz Laurel antenna. And then this one here is the uh, 433, the 868, 915, and the 920 megahertz as well. So, okay. So we've got Wi-Fi and Laura. Perfect. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for the device. Um, it's fairly new, so there's not really anything out there for, as far as firmware goes. Um, hopefully, there will be some soon. I would love to see... 
uh, Meshtastic on this or maybe Bruce or something to take advantage of the the screen and the built-in uh, Wi-Fi and LoRa and, and um, SD card slot and the NFC you know I think this is a pretty decent device it's, um, I can't I don't I I would want to recommend it but I can't recommend it since you know there's not really anything to, to do on it but to test the the uh, demo firmware but uh, I would love to see once the uh, once more firmware comes out for it you know we get to use a little bit more I'll probably come back to this and do another review but um, but yeah that's pretty much of it this that's pretty much it for the T Laura pager um, pretty basic right now but uh, hopefully the development for this will, will come sooner than later if you guys like the video, please leave a like. If you guys have any questions about this, please leave them down in the comment section below. If you guys aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Trying to hit 300 by the end of the month. Uh, today is May 29th, so we've got another day or so to to do it. So, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. You guys have a good one, and as always, I will see you in the next one.